the mid-30s, the general director of Citron, Pierre Boulanger, looks out of his window at the farmers in a small village near Clermont-Ferrand. These still do their job using horse and cart. And he comes up with the idea to develop a small practical car tailored for the rural population. End of 1937, the development of a small Citroën model begins, expected to cost no more than 5,000 francs. Citroën commissions the work to André Lefebvre and Flaminio Bertoni. Both have already designed the Traction Avant, and Bertoni will go down in Designer Olympics years later as the creator of the Citroën DS. The first prototypes of the model called TPV roll in November 1937. And then in the summer of 39, the decision is made to go to series production. The TPV is a car with very simple engineering, but constructively anything but inconsequential. The aluminum body saves weight and it gains stability through a corrugated iron structure. The two-cylinder boxer engine of the 2PV is still water-cooled and manages a meager six horsepower. Top speed, 50 kilometers an hour. From September 39, France was at war with Germany. The production of the C2V is on hold. Boulanger gives the order to scrap cars already produced so they don't get into the hands of the enemy. Only five models of these duck prototypes are said to have survived. Three of them are only rediscovered in 1994, hidden on the Citroën testing ground where they lay dormant for decades. But the evolution of the 2CV Citroën does not stop during the war. The results are presented in 1948 at the Paris Motor Show. dans le domaine du véhicule économique par Citroën, qui présente un modèle de conception pour le moins original. Peut-être verrons-nous demain ces véhicules circuler sur nos routes. The engine is air-cooled and now manages 9 horsepower from 375 cubic centimeters. However, in the beginning, there are no production facilities for the 2CV, and production is delayed the manufacturers give preference to farmers with their first orders. The production returns to normal, and in the mid-50s, the first 2CV come to the Saarland in Germany. The triumphal march of the duck begins in Germany. Not only the purchase price, but also the inexpensive maintenance make the duck the preferred car for students and non-conformists. Throughout its life, the 2CV was hardly developed further, with only engine power being adapted by Citroën to growing traffic volumes. Contrary to the custom that all duck drivers greeted each other on the road, the drivers of the 1981 special model, the Charleston Duck, were ignored. They're considered too bourgeois. Today, the duck is a popular classic. In the country of origin, France, the prices explode for good de chevaux. And also in Germany, a beautiful duck will easily exchange hands now for about 10,000 euros. The Citroën duck is like no other vehicle for French driving feeling.